I'm a mechanic. My dad a mechanic, granddad a mechanic, uncle's a mechanic, so it was easy for it me to natural. get out there and be a mechanic. Knocking, man. I don't know what's going Chicken, on. Kicking, bumping, knocking. Sound yeah. like a fat nigga driving a truck. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Man. That's cool. And what about uh, the movie of the apartments, man? Like, you in that thing, man. Knocking, man. I don't know what's going Chicken, on. Kicking, bumping, knocking. Sound yeah. like a fat nigga driving a truck. Like, how was that, working on that set? Man, it wasn't no work. It Damn wasn't? Shit. Fuck no. It you had fun. I'm a mechanic. My dad a mechanic, granddad a mechanic, uncle's a mechanic, so it was easy for it me to natural. get out there and be a mechanic. And wow. then working with these guys, most of these guys a lot of them in there came too. up under me. Mm -hmm. Carlos, they all came up yeah. under me. DC, Tyler, Ronnie. We, man, Ronnie came up together. I came up under Henry. Me and Tip, he the director. We came up together. DC, I done brought them in the game. Nav she Green. Nas Myron was in there too. Yeah, that's a bunch of them. She Nas Myron, he from Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah sure is. Don't play with me. I've been around a thousand years. You respect your environment, and your environment respect you. But, but, but they all up under me, them my folk. Like, when I say up under me, I don't mean like nah, but you, down. Yeah. I mean, they yeah. the tutelage. I done told mm -hmm. all of them something. What do you think about Funny Marco? Funny Marco? Yeah. I said he wasn't a comedian on that thing. <laughs> I, I ain't but heard that. I'm just I, asking I twisted you. it and kept trying to say not like that, but he, he probably he knows he's not man. a comedian. But... As far as the respect level, nigga, we we good on that. We I, I just got his number probably at the game at the Falcons game, mm -hmm. and I'm glad you asked about him because I I, did, I, I I didn't know him like that. I didn't know him like that, and he was already famous. You know, you get to know all the comedians, but somebody was like, "That's funny, Marco." And one time he was at a show, and somebody said it when I left. They were like, "I heard funny Marco was there." I was like, "Who is?" Fun? I said, "I keep hearing that name," and then they was God like, buzz. "Huh?" Huh? So he buzzed, and he no. This was probably. He, he, a year ago. Okay. okay. Now he was. Yeah, he was okay. good then. Yeah. No, he yeah. definitely. But when I, I seen a couple of videos, but they all fall in with the your video. Yeah. And stuff. yeah like your yeah. video just came across. Yeah. And I watched, kept watching yeah. them. So funny, Marcos came across, but I couldn't have said boss top. I couldn't have said that to nobody. Yeah. But I know I you watched. You knew it. it. Yeah. So when I saw you, I ain't say what up, boss. Like, what's up, man? Yeah, he showed did. Watch the video. Yeah, I so, love that, bro. Like, so, man. So with Marco, I had seen a couple, but I didn't keep track of the right. face like that. The name too. Mm -hmm. But I, but he was so nice and always and that and that's and, and one thing about it, if you are a nice person, then you are gonna really get a pass. Wow. If you are a nice person, you get a pass on a lot of stuff, that's and right. that's what he was just a very nice guy. And in this industry, do you? I don't know, but I got to ask him about when he, you, did you see when they he interviewed the guys and they threw yeah. the cup and all, they threw his watch and just to it, they tore his ass up. Marco you know what I'm probably was with that, man. Yeah, because it, 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 it went through the roof. Marco it went was, through the damn Marco roof. was with that, man. <laughs> I told, I just said he's a nice, I, I promise you, when I, I seen him at the game, I was like, this is a kind guy. Wow. And I like kind people. Yeah. Not that I'm the kindest motherfucker on the planet, but I like <laughs> genuine kind people. No, you don't, bro. Like I said, you. I'm gonna be real with you. When I seen you, you, you hey, you lit up my day. So yeah. I never forget you. Oh, It'll yeah. never be done. And whatever, yeah, I'm coming to your show. Y'all need to I, pull I'm up fly tonight. Out. I don't. I don't. She know how I am. I don't like them crowds, man. I, don't, I ain't but got no tickets to get in there. Y'all probably sold out. It says that y'all are sold out. Yeah, it is sold out. Yeah, but at the end of the day, I've been there a lot of times. But I, I love seeing good comics, and I I come to your show myself. I will fly to your show, nigga. You ain't got. I'm gonna come find you. You ain't. Watch, you gonna say this nigga just came this nigga found came me. To the show. I'm gonna come find your ass. You ain't got to worry about that now. You done met, they done messed up. You gonna like this nigga think he know this nigga? I'm gonna be there. Be ain't there no baby. Tell me about the first time you headlined your own show. First time I headlined. Damn, that's crazy. Let me let me think back. Got him. <laughs> you got you me. You thought about that shit in a long time. That's crazy. <laughs> let me go back the first time I headlined. Because uh, I can imagine how it must have felt because going from featuring all the time to yeah, headlining, yeah, I know that must have felt some sort of way. Bruh, you got me right there. <laughs> <laughs> let me go back. Dang, it was that long ago? Man, I'm telling you about it. It had to be 20 years. I you ain't been in this forever. I've been in this for real for the World Trade Center drop. <laughs> Ooh, we man. World Trade Center was still up when I started. Why that crazy? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm telling you, I traveled with no cell phone, no GPS. Ooh, you no did? map quest. I traveled. That's old school. We got a nigga out of map They would say, jump on 85, it's going to turn into 95. You jump on 95, you get off at. Some something you gonna hit Poe White in Richmond, Virginia. You wouldn't do that right now. 
What? I would. Yeah, you would do that I right got now. The brain. You watch my interviews, you know, I got the brain. That's the thing. I got the brain. I can think of it. I can remember. You can remember. It. But you can't remember the first time you, you featured. I can't. I can. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm, I can tell you. That's the thing about it. I can't tell you the exact time because to be honest with you, you if I city? go back, I would have to go back. Uh -huh. You remember what city? See, that's what I'm saying. I got to go back to what categorizes headline because I remember doing the Bridge Cafe. Mm-hmm. And Nesto had me headline. He said he did an hour and something. But there was a lot of rambling. I'm trying to really think what's classified as the headline. Because Nesto was just giving me 50 bucks. Mm. Nesto was trying to open up another, he's trying to open up a company called The Bridge. Because when I think about somebody being a headliner, number one, you make big money when you're yeah. a headliner. See, this one, this that's what I'm trying you know? to okay, And you have all the features under you. The first time I went out and did something like that, Still don't. I've been doing it. It still had to be back in the old threes. I've been taking comedians. I never was an amateur. I never thought I had to wait two days to get a DVD. I got a DVD. With you ever a got booed before? Yeah, I got booed twice. When you first started? No. Mm. Well, no, I was, too, I was too good to get booed. <laughs> so when I did got, you get booed? I got booed at Clark Atlanta, September 24th, 04. That was three years after I started. But wow. I got booed because I kept saying the word faggot. Mm. And I was really going in. You were going in? In Atlanta. At Clark. Mm. But it freed that shit. So what yep. made you feel so brave that you felt like you needed to do it something was like that? Who gave a fuck about their feelings? That's right. It was a different time. <laughs> Who gave a fuck about any of their feelings? Like you thought I gave an inch of fuck? None. So you didn't regret it? Not that I don't regret it, but I didn't give a fuck about mm. them. And not like I still don't, but f it was fuck them. I was 22 years old. Young. They could have ate a dick that day, man. <laughs> and when I got booed, I didn't give a fuck then. I, it kind of got to me. You know how I had to get to right. anybody. But I was like, fuck them. You only booed because I called y'all fucking fags. You know what I mean? It was more few to me. I left there not rehabilitated. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm and, I'm the sec I'm and the second time the you, second you booed? It was at Clark. Again, <laughs> 2011. You went back. Like, nigga, I'm going 2011. back. 2011. 2011. That May, far during the end of the year. Benji Did you Brown, do the same Corey Hogan got booed that night, too. Oh. Corey Hogan got booed. We just talked about that in LA about three weeks ago. He got booed that night, Why? too. Why? Because he just was doing the type of shit that I'm talking about. I didn't do it that time. I was light. He went right back up with that same stare you just seen me get when I said, I don't give a fuck. He had a time wow. 20 that day. Damn. Clark ain't gonna let you do it. And I just did Clark again this year. Didn't get booed. Because I was so nice and fair. That's how you doing, ladies and gentlemen. You know, LBGTQ. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.